Hi, welcome to Julia's Broderie. I'm going to show you how to do a bullion stitch today. I have four strands on, on my needle, four strands of floss, which I've tied a knot in the end of. And then what we're going to do is, and I use, th this stitch is good for like lavender flowers or for making roses when you make them in a circular shape. So these are a little more challenging than some of the other stitches. You bring your needle up at the bottom of the design you want to make and the sides of it and you take your needle down again at the top. Then like some other stitches that we've gone over, like Lazy Daisy, we're gonna leave a loop on the surface of the fabric. Then we're gonna bring the needle up again at the bottom of the stitch. So we came up, we went back down, and then we came up again. And now I'm gonna wrap, just like with a French knot, only I'm going to wrap it six times. So you've brought your needle up, but only part way. So about half of it is poking through. Don't worry, I'll show you again. And then once it's taut on there and you've got the, the fabric wrapped around it, put your index and thumb finger around it and hold it in place. So you're basically holding the wrapped thread around the needle and the needle itself. And then you'll have to let go and put it down so that you can use your other hand to pull the needle through. So you're basically pulling the needle through, but you want to keep the fabric in your hand, or the, the thread, sorry, not the fabric. Keep pulling. So you're basically pulling it through those wrapped coils that you put around the needle. Keep pulling until there, it won't, you know, gently, of course, until it doesn't go anymore. And then you're going to pull it gently down towards the top of your design. And that will help it to lay flat onto the fabric. Sometimes they're a little bit fiddly and they don't always wrap exactly as you want. So you'll do that. And then once it's laying flat, you're gonna go back down that top hole that you came up through to pull it into place. And you can sort of fiddle with it a little bit with your needle on the surface. This one hasn't come out perfectly, to be honest, but that is how it works. I'll do another one. So we're going to come up at the bottom of the design, go back down at the top. Oops, my thread got caught. But don't don't pull it all the way through. Leave a loop of fabric on the surface and make sure it's the right way around. Then bring your needle up again at the next to the bottom hole that you made. And then you're going to wrap the fabric, I mean, sorry, I always call it fabric, the, the floss or thread around that needle that's poking through. So I've wrapped it once, twice, three, four, five, six. And you can wrap more, but I'm just gonna do this size for now. So then you're gonna hold it with your thumb and forefinger and you're gonna pull the needle through and pull the fabric through those circular wraps that you've created until there's no more to pull and see this one's come out really nicely so then you'll pull it gently so that it sits flat on the fabric and then you're going to go down and that's your little bullion i left this one on purpose because i don't want you to be discouraged it happens to me too sometimes they just don't come out that nicely even though you feel like you've done the same thing over and over. So just, if it doesn't come out perfectly, just cut it off and start again until you get them the shape that you'd like them to be. So that one's come out nicely. So now I'll show you what to do if you are if you are working on this stitch garden sampler. I'm gonna show you how to do it for the shaping of these flowers up here. So we're gonna do one smaller one in the middle that's gonna lay straight down so I went in at the top, at the bottom, sorry, came down at the top and then brought my needle halfway through. Two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm holding it and pulling it through until you're sort of making a little cone with it. Just ease it down with your fingers and then pull it towards the fabric so that it lays flat 
and then you're going to go back down that top hole that you created to hold it in place. So there's that one that's going to lay in the middle. And then you want to start one about halfway along it so that it's going to wrap her. So we, if you were creating a sample, you would lay another one next to it here. And then you're going to go about halfway down it to create another one that's going to wrap around it. So I'm going to go down there. And this is how they create roses out of bullion stitches. So you're going down there. So I've gone halfway along and then around it a little bit, coming back up again at that first entry point. And this time I'm going to wrap eight times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then gently guide it through. It is the more you do, the tougher it becomes to pull through. So then just ease it down with your fingers until you feel this thread is pulled all the way through and you feel like those stitches are laying as close to the fabric as possible. So then you're going to pull it towards the fabric and that evens out anything there. And then go down that top hole that you made, pull it through. And then you'll just have to ease it into place. It's not gonna go there naturally. And pull it down gently and see how that one is now around that first one that we made. So then what you could do is keep doing that. You would start the next one half sort of there and bring it around. So you create a kind of wrapped effect as if they're just like a petal of a rose. They're wrapping around each other. Well, I hope that's helped understand a little more about bullion stitch. Thank you.